Hi, James. Hi. Wow, Hi. look at that uh, amazing backdrop. Yeah, I got my fans. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs> we all can use some fans, huh? Yeah, yeah, we can. There you go. Oh, hi. Welcome, Shannon. <laughs> so look at you, my Las Vegas people. Both of you today are first. Good. Australians are first, but today Las Vegas win. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Australia still has some troubles with this COVID. They're back on lockdown. Australia, uh, yeah, yeah. I hope we don't have to go back on that. I hope not. Israel too, with the new Delta variant. Yeah. Even, um, yeah. I've been wearing my mask everywhere I go, but I noticed hardly anybody else is. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Uh, so, so even people who are vaccinated, I have one in Dubai, a friend who caught it. She's vaccinated and still caught. COVID. I heard that two of the coaches on the hockey team, two of the coaches uh, got it. They had, they were vaccinated and they got it too. Oh, here in Vegas? Yeah, two of the coaches, uh, the, the, the Knights. That's what, I, that's what my wife told me anyways. <laughs> oh, wow. This is recent? Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. What are we going to do? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome, Bernice. And uh, who else have we got? Um, and welcome, Michael. There you go. Okay, let's give it a moment and then we get started. Hello, hello. So we we'll do the introduction. So welcome, Gary. I want you all today to really focus on um, bridging. Bridging, I like that word. Bridging the months, quarters, and semesters. You all know what semesters mean now because you learned Italian and Latin through me. Um, at the best you can, okay? The best you can. Because <clears throat> this is a bridge week. And also, you know, I, I'm i not patriotic. I'm, I'm a, I've, I think we all are citizens of the world and or we should feel that way, citizens of the world. So, but for whatever it's worth, um, it's a freedom, independence, holiday, both in Canada and in the US this week. Um, so it's nice to to revisit that concept and um, and and know what really freedom means to you, to you, to yourself, which could be something completely different to me or somebody else. Okay. So in spirit of that, welcome, welcome to Power Group Coaching. Uh, let's. Um, I want you to share. I want. Um, I want you to share. Um, three things. One, where you're from and your title. I'll demo. Two, um, one thing you, <coughs> you want to bridge this week and you understand what that means, right? <clears throat> bridge this week and uh, be succinct. Three, your <coughs> meaning of the word freedom as it pertains to you. So, Ben, uh, I'll start. So, I'm from Italy. My accent and last name gives it away. Uh, <laughs> my, my title, my title is um, <clears throat> is a, a doctor in industrial organizational psychology. A scary, long, antiquated name. But they have not changed it. I think applied psychology is a better name. Um, and of course, <clears throat> certified master coach. Uh, what I want to bridge, what I want to bridge um, is, um, 
is uh, going into uh, going into this new part of the year with um, I can't say stress free because a little bit of stress we all have and a little bit of stress is healthy but with reduced stress okay and my meaning of freedom is which I wish to all of you all of you is to to be citizens of the world basically do anything you want to do from anywhere so obviously that requires some systems but they're easy to be put in place and we do have a master in systems a subject matter expert in systems that's Gary and uh, if you need to review his work it's actually on our website under mastermind replays do anything from anywhere so that's me I wasn't as succinct as I could have been. Um, Gary, go for it. Hi, everyone. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Um, one thing I would like to bridge would be mo moving. Oh, yeah, it's a hard one. Um, Moving from the ability to provide services to a large group of uh, businesses. So I'm working with fairly small businesses at the moment, but I'd like to bridge a gap where I can service some larger organisations. Uh, meeting of freedom is the choice to do what you want, when you want. Great, thank you so much, Gary. And Bernice. Oh, I'm unmuted. Okay, hi. Um, okay, so I'm from the United States. I'm from New York, upstate New York. Uh, my title is health coach slash I'm also an occupational therapist. Um, what I wanna bridge, uh, now going into summer, I, I really need to move away from a very vacation mentality. I have been on medical leave uh, away from work for four, five weeks now. And I'm so complacent. I'm so happy. But I really need to get, I, I need to begin to walk that bridge from complete vacation to, to work mentality. Um, for me, freedom is also, it's financial freedom. It's the ability to be able to do, you know, pretty much what I want. Um, I don't think you can always do what you want all the time whenever you want to. But I think if you can get away with it, 85% of your life, that's awesome. I'm right now, I'm like at 90%. <laughs> I'm getting very spoiled. Great percentage. Thank you so much. And let's hear from Michael. Good morning, everyone from, again, Melbourne, Australia. My name is Michael Lloyd, and um, I'm a bit of an entrepreneur. I've done all sorts of things, but I'm currently running the gardening business, pretty high-end gardening services. I'd like to bridge the gap between those that get it and those that don't get it. And I, I think there are issues, the variance in people with intelligence, skills, capacities, and it all comes down to trust. When you've got a manager and you've got a worker and a worker doesn't know what the business is trying to do or where they're going, they just want to work and get paid. There's got to be trust. And I just think that um, inclusion and contribution and trust and ultimately a little bit more love between those that get it and those that don't get it in whatever context that is applicable. So and everyone will get more freedom from that. If people can trust, if they don't have to understand what the government's doing or what their business is doing or even what their partner's doing, if they can trust, it's all right. And more freedom. Nice. Great. Great. Okay. So be it. Thank you so much. And Veron, go for it. Oh, uh, I'm Veronica from London. I'm a uh, entrepreneur and also a business consultant. Uh, I like to bridge the gap of uh, education and culture. Um, because I think that is uh, uh, will help with the 
understanding of of uh, people from different places, and that will help the harmony and balance in the world. And the freedom, I would like a financial freedom, time freedom, and balance. Okay, so be it. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Shannon. Hello, I'm Shannon Mangle. I'm a life and Medicare specialist. And um, the thing I'd like to bridge that I'm focusing on this week is uh, overcoming fears that I've let um, control me for a period of time longer than I'd like to admit. Um, and kind of stepping away from those. And then my meaning of freedom being an Air Force veteran is being able to do what I want and uh, fight for this country and the rights that we have. Yeah, makes sense. Very good. Thank you so much. Welcome. And uh, let's, uh, James, uh, close the, uh, this round of introductions. Hi, I'm from Las Vegas. I'm a digital marketing analyst and a musician. And uh, I'm working on websites right now, and it's kind of challenging. I'm doing a WordPress, so I want to bridge. I want to really get that down, more knowledge on the websites, so I could uh, have more clients for my business, and then I could do less driving. I'm doing delivery driving for my bills, bill money right now, and I don't want to. That's taking a lot of time, so I want to get more knowledge, so I won't have to drive. I can make money at home on the computer, like most, like everybody else is doing. And uh, for freedom. Uh, more time for create for creating. Without the driving, I'll have way more time for creating, more, more, more time to do things I want to do and and then just relax, more time to relax too. Yes. Yeah. Great. Great. So be it. And welcome, James. So nice to have you. Thank you. Um, wonderful. Okay. Well done, everybody. <clears throat> Thanks to you, uh, James, we're gonna have better music for, this, <laughs> for these meetings, okay? I'll talk to you about it on the site. Um, all right, so this is how we organize our power group coaching. So this is mainly for you, James. Um, so um, we, we have tested a couple of approaches, there is no, no right or wrong, but we, you know, we like to see what kind of results you all have as a group, and then we can uh, improve ac accordingly. So right now, because there are four weeks, how many? Four in a month, that's right. So every week, <laughs> we focus on a specific, on a specific area, we hone in, and then um, that way we just make sure you, you, you have progress in all areas. So for simplicity, for simplicity, we divided the whole life into four areas. Now, um, some, some months have five weeks, but this month it's got four. Okay, so, we, um, so we're looking at this week, week four and five. So for this, so we're going to include both weeks into today because next week is already next the next month. So uh, you have two options. How many? Two. Okay, good, good. So you can choose to focus on, on either play, um, another way to say it is fun, entertainment, or charity, another way is to say it, to say it, to say it is community or giving, sharing, volunteering, uh, charity, right? Okay, so um, I'll pick the shortest synonym. So you're gonna focus on fun or give, not and give, or give. So you're gonna choose depending on where you think your life could benefit from the most this week out of either one of those, okay? So uh, you all are business people and entrepreneurs. So um, keep that in mind, keep that in mind. And the fun, so if you do something fun, you know, like, um, like a leadership game, 
actually got in, just got invited to play the cash flow game 101, which is kind of like a more intelligent, sophisticated version of Monopoly, which is always good to do among like-minded, like-hearted individuals. And nowadays, if you're not, if you still don't feel comfortable with COVID, to meet in person, you can do a, a, a hybrid situation of in-person and or virtually, whatever you want. I'll leave that up to you because I'm not a medical doctor. So use your own judgment. Same thing, if you choose give, give is something that can benefit your business. First of all, is a tax write-off in most countries. So if you give a free sample of a product or a free consultation that to, to a company or a group or an individual, then it's your way to, to get your foot into maybe a new affiliation, or joint venture or business or client, okay? And, and, uh, and give them, uh, upsell them later or give them a, you know, a paid package, okay? Do these examples make sense to all of you? Give me a head yes, okay? And James, feel free to ask questions, okay? If that doesn't make sense since you're newer, newer, newer okay? All right, so let me see. Okay, let me see which one of the two you're going to choose for this week. Here's some other examples. So for me, it's gonna be give actually. Okay, same for Bernice. Gary give, Veronica play, fantastic. James, fun, nice. Uh, James, uh, send it to everybody, yeah. Send it to everybody so you can hold you to it. We're on play, okay. Do we have everybody? Michael, okay, all right, you let us know. All right, so, um, okay. So we're going to find out exactly what we can uh, focus on next to be able to, to get great results. So before we do that, uh, just uh, relax, relax in your chair, close your eyes, take some long, deep breaths in and out. Good job with every breath, go. Longer and longer, inhale and exhale. Good job, go at your own pace. Inhale, some great trust that um, the next semester is gonna go according to your plans and exhale any doubt, good job. On the next inhale, inhale more of what you want during the next six months of the year. Exhale what you wanna leave behind. On the next inhale, inhale some freedom. That's right, exhale anything that you no longer need. And really visualize, visualize yourself in the next six months going about your life with ease and amazing flow. That's right. You got momentum, you got trust, confidence, everything you touch, it's turning out exactly the way you want it. That's right. Because you can. So with that understanding, trust and confidence, you're now ready to open your eyes and you're gonna do this written exercise by yourself you can write on your journal 
and or in the chat box. And let us know what is the next thing you want within the area of either play or give, depending on what you chose. Okay, don't hold back. Is everybody clear? Okay, and start writing. All right, good job. Okay, Michael, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I've got a, um, a song that I could play if we had a chance for it. It's actually called Freedom. Okay, cool, okay, and good. And since we've got another muso on the, on the line, might be extra cool. Okay, sure, yeah, we'll use it during the next uh, exercise. I'll let you know, okay? Awesome. Okay. Nice, thank you. Great, all right. So let's see what we got, what we got. Okay, so for Michael. Um, it's probably easier if I explain it. It's yeah. um, to give freedom to others by the nature of my chosen play. Um, so it's sort of a bit charitable because it's like when people have got lack of liberty in their, in their thoughts or their context, and I could do something about it. I'm just going to make that whole thing fun and socializing and getting liberation created with spare energy and time. Okay, okay. I'm still not clear, but uh, through the next exercises, I think it will um, will get a better picture of how it will unfold uh, beautifully, okay? All right. Um, James. 
okay, with friends, perform gigs in two different states and cities, plus record an, an album. That's three things. Amazing. Amazing. Um, and Bernice, donate dresses. And a uh, very good, 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 excellent. Um, wonderful. Shannon, games with friends, gardening, excellent. And watching movies, okay. That sounds great. I like how you're thinking. Good job, everybody. Okay, everybody else who didn't get a, a chance to share, uh, we'll share again next. What's Mahjong, Veron? Forgive my ignorance. It's a fun game. It's a Chinese game. Ah, okay, great. You have to teach us. Okay. <laughs> nice. Well done. Well done. Give yourself lots of love. Great. Okay. So uh, I'll have um, Gary explain this next step. Go for it. Uh, we're looking looking ahead. And Sorry. Look, looking ahead, uh, once we have achieved what we've set out to do, how will your life and the others and lives of others change uh, when you complete what you've set out to do? So it's it's how you will how your life will appear and uh, the life of others uh, once you complete this exercise or once you achieve the the dream component of what you're wanting to do. Excellent. Very good, very good. Okay, you are gonna be in breakout rooms and you're going to tell your partner, partners, uh, the, the answer to this question. Thank you, thank you, Gary. And feel free to give each other some feedback. I'll tell you when to switch. And uh, James, do you know how the work, the breakout rooms work? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, good. And go. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Hello? <laughs> Are we back now? Yeah, we're back. We're back. Good job, everybody. Yeah, I, I think, um, do, do any of you know, I think Zoom still has not figured out how to record what happens in the breakout room. And you, oh. lots of great stuff happen in the breakout rooms. But okay. you guys know, I don't think there is a way that Zoom. Um, I bet they get it recorded. There are too many the album they, they can't manage, I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um James, maybe you and I can look at that later. Uh maybe make a note. All right. So um <clears throat> okay, give yourself lots of love, special love to bridge into this week and uh, new new time. Um okay, so if you're ready, Mr. Michael Lloyd, with a freedom song, we could use it next. So uh, first, let's explain. Let's explain step three. Would you like to explain it, Michael? And then just segue into the song. A beautiful song. All righty. Well, now that we've identified the sorts of things we want to make changes with or the area we want to focus on, whether it be with uh, giving or having fun, uh, with the theme of uh, independence and freedom. And um, what we need to do is make a plan. 
Uh, the big plan is that uh, we're going to keep doing tasks towards this goal. So we're going to get with a little task soon, but for now it's just a rough approach and maybe a new approach to getting this change made in this area for us. So um, if you'd like to <clears throat> write down uh, how you're going to get there, how you're going to make this change, how you're going to give this giving or have this fun making. Does that help? <laughs> All right, this is something I wrote years ago, so hopefully it helps you guys while you're thinking and writing. Freedom is all right, yeah. If you can find it. The dream is just all right, yeah. What is the power behind it? When you go to talk to someone special, you run into them in a way that you never knew. Something you had to do at that moment in time. Was it like a message that you sent, sent to their mind? Or was it chance, leaving just in time, it all to take its part? In a strange mystic trail unwind Freedom is all right, yeah, yeah, yeah If you can find it The dream is just all job michael can you play um without singing it next so that um doesn't distract people can write yeah or if yeah. not I, i'll i'll play the song here yeah it's so um unwarmed up so tired it's 6 a.m here in australia and my fingernails are too long because i haven't played for okay a okay okay we'll give you a break that was a nice segue okay everybody please um I'll play a little bit of music, won't be as nice as Michael's. And please write your how, your basic plan on the chat and go.
beautiful. You guys need more time? Yes, no. <laughs> okay. I'm fine, but I'm happy for people to keep writing for another minute. <laughs> okay, we'll give you a little bit more time. Good job. Uh, most of you shared here in the chat box and all of your plans sound doable. Anybody who wants to share out loud, especially if you didn't share in the chat box, let's just take one share at least. Everything is confidential. There is no right or wrong. I can go. Sure. Uh, for me, it was about uh, the, the big picture is to underwrite a water project uh, for providing clean water in the, to a community in South Africa or Africa. And um, so the plan is to uh, have a certain amount that I've accumulated uh, in my give account and just work out what else I need to get there and then accumulate those funds over the next uh, 18 months and hopefully have that sorted by the end of next year. Nice. I'm curious, does uh, Australia have a water pro problem? Any, anywhere? Uh, we, we don't have a clean water problem. We have uh, a lack of water problem in certain areas and communities and uh, yeah. Okay, but, uh, and, yeah, like in the US. And why South Africa versus North Africa? I mean, uh, it was uh, it was a, a Freudian slip. It's just Africa. It's it's where it's where the water project. Uh, who are the people that I contribute through? That's where they operate. Yeah. In Africa, I just made a mistake. So South Africa. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Thank you so much. Anybody else that wants to share? I can share. Sure. I'm excited about this this week because um, this is something I've been meaning to do. And I like um, coming to this because it pushes me to do it. <laughs> it and um, uh, what happened was I was cleaning out something else and I found a piece of paper where uh, I was the recipient of these clothes from this very same organization. And years and years ago, um, when I was raising my family and it was really tough for us and really hard, the community would give out like um, certificate, not certificates, but like um, an invite that your family could come and, you know, you would get first pick at all the new donated things. And I was on that list. 
um, all the time. So I'm very excited now to be on the other side of it, donating the good stuff and that somebody else will be happy the way we were happy, you know, to get it. We really needed it. And now it's our turn to give back. So I'm just really, really excited about it. Yes. Wonderful. That's a phenomenal. Very, very good. And maybe to help them out, maybe, Bernice, you can take some photos or, or a short video um, and um, post it on social media so maybe more people are inspired to do the same. And that will help the marketing of this nonprofit. <laughs> that is such a good idea. That is really such a good idea. Great. Enjoy. Enjoy. Very good. Wonderful. Okay. So uh, everybody give me 10, virtual 10, because you are level 10. That's right. And uh, okay. So we're going to hold you accountable to the first action step that stems out of your new strategy that you share here in the chat box and out loud. And I want you, so of course you have seven days, you have seven days to complete this action, but the sooner the better, as you know, because of the law of momentum. So, so look at your calendar and let us know everybody in the chat box. I'll do the same, I'll do the same what you are going to do and when, what and when. So keep your action small, okay, in, in terms of time. So that way, even if you get super busy this week with all the festivities, the bridge week, you'll still find the time to complete it. So ideally, an action that takes up to 30 minutes of your time at the most, not least at the most, okay? So let us know when, what you're gonna do and when, and start.
Great. Very good. Wonderful. Fantastic. Veron sounds great. Maybe you can even play with some of your prospects so they get to us know that playful side of you, not just the business, yeah, the investment. Very good. Which, you know, it's more numbers and <laughs> more left brain. Uh, Michael, what is that vodka? I'm surprised. <laughs> what is that vodka task? Am I understand, understanding correctly? This is, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a social obligation. This guy's from like um, Latvia. Yeah. You know? uh, he's still got the accent. He's been in Australia for 50 years or something. But, you know, when in Rome, as you know, you'll know that expression, <laughs> being Italian. <laughs> So I, have to, I just have to. I try to cut it to like three or four. It is about a kilometer away, but I can walk home. Understood. It's a cliche, but I heard that about uh, Russians. Yeah, that it, uh, the only way they it's get true. together if there is vodka business. It's, not a rumor, it's true. <laughs> but, uh... All right. Um, enjoy. Gary, uh, excellent. Shannon, wow, you're going to do that whole thing by yourself? Well, it, I just have like four hanging pots in a garden box, so it's not like crazy, and I'm going to run it from the hose spout, so it's not like insane, but it's just I keep procrastinating on it, and I'm hand-watering the plants, and I know I'm overwatering, so I need, I've had it sitting there on my kitchen table for like months, but I need to install it. I'm impressed. I wouldn't know where to start. I'm impressed. Very good. Good job. I don't either, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. That's the, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Awesome. Do it yourself, right? It's all on YouTube. Um, James sounds good. Very nice. Hope you invite us and I hope uh, you jam for us too one day. Yes. Coaching and jamming. That's a new title. Um, <laughs> so, Michael. <laughs> very good. Let's see. Um, mm, mm, mm. Bernice, look at you. Very good. Make sure you, um, yeah, see if you can t take a photo or a video and feel free to share it in our private Facebook group as well. Uh, we lost somebody, Gary. Oh, there you are. Okay, you're back. Okay, very good. Good job, everybody. And uh, well done. So I want to know two things. I want your commitment, so your autograph to, um, to yourself, first and foremost, to all of us and to the universe. So as a sign of commitment and a reward that you are going to choose to, you know, to um, prize, to, to give yourself as soon as you're done with your actions. So what is it going to be? Some uh, examples here, especially for you, James. And once you have it, please share it in the chat box. Okay, so Bernice, uh, she's going to watch the Vikings. Very nice. I'm going to be swimming. And Shannon Garden, beautiful. Veron, an apple, very nice, very nice. Great. Um, take away for Michael. James, wa long walk with your wife and three dogs. That sounds so romantic. Beautiful. Beautiful, very nice, very nice. Great. I'm so proud of all of you. Great way to bridge this week because I know then that the rest of the year will follow this great week. So you're going to put a lot of passion into this week and you're going to have a passionate rest of the year. Yes? That's right. So good job. Um, so James, this is for you. Everybody else is already. Let me give you, um, make sure you, um, you join our private Facebook group. 
let me give you the exact links in the chat box so you can um, go there, okay? Let me see. And then everybody, next week is the mastermind. So I'm going to have the owner of uh, my, the CRM I use, which is what I use to get in touch with all of you. Okay, it's um, that CRM he created and it's in three languages, English, Spanish, and Italian. So he's gonna give us a lot of tips for uh, online marketing that you all can use to promote your business. So sign up, it's free and bring, bring, your, uh, bring your peers, your colleagues, so they can also learn. Again, uh, for right now, these masterminds are free, so take advantage of that, okay? All right, so here you are. You did great. Enjoy, enjoy. I'm going to be around for a moment if you have any coaching-related question. If you do, ask in the chat box and um, or raise your hand. If you don't, stay in touch with us throughout the week and have a great freedom celebration, everybody. Happy bridging, happy freedom. Good job and ciao. We just um, talk about fun together. Maybe miss music for a second. Was that Michael? Do you want to cut the music for a sec? Yeah. I mean, I just it just seems like a lost opportunity uh, where you could just free flow and talk about fun and independence and all that. Sure. What did you have in mind? <clears throat> I just want to know more about James's music, really. He's jamming tomorrow now. Yeah. I reckon it was going to happen anyway, but I hope hopefully the call has been a, a prompter and encouraged a jam that wasn't going to happen beforehand. I wasn't thinking about it too much, but it sounds really sounds fun to go do that right now. So <laughs> he's been begging me to play with him, so I think I will. <laughs> How close are you to to uh, contents for this album? And is it your first, or is it a second or a third album that you're uh, going to do? Third solo album. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Maybe my third solo. I have another one. I have an, uh, another one I did with a group before that a while ago. Yeah. Cool. Uh, it was a, I was in a band called Chaos. That was spelled with a K. K-A-O-S. Okay. And, uh, I think we might have had one of those over here too. Who knows? Yeah, there's, of, there's a Chaos. There's more than one. We were in the 80s. We were, we were, the, we were the ones that, from the 80s. We were the first wow. one. We, we, we copyrighted the name. Yeah. and every, Other bands had the name and we got rights to own the name we were the only ones that owned it but then after after we broke up there was a punk band that was pretty successful named chaos from san francisco too and there's another chaos in vegas right now yeah it's popular it's popular everybody everybody spells it with a k too it's funny because it gets so smart right. the tv show have you, uh, have you done it with bands or you're solo for a bit and one day you'll be in a band again yeah, <laughs> I play. Sometimes I'll play in bands on the strip with different bands when they need a bass player. But when I do my own show. I do it by myself with an acoustic guitar, and then I play shows, uh, looping shows, where I play all the instruments. And I just loop them, and wow, just jump different instruments, play different ones. I've seen people do that. That's awesome. Yeah, it's fun to do that. It's confusing because you have all the pedals. You're like, you have to remember where you were, where you are. <laughs> Well, I reckon that would definitely be the key for Elena's uh, challenges to find, um, you know, uncopyrighted right music for us, you know, get the loops going and everyone will be visualizing perfectly. Yeah, <laughs> that's fun. But if you play with somebody else, if you have loops, you have to make sure they can play in time, though. Oh, it's tricky. Yeah, they can't play in time. You can't use your loops. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I invite you, you two, since you're in the similar industry, to to uh, get to know each other 
through our private Facebook group. And then if you like, you can exchange numbers and yeah, yeah, yeah. social media. There yeah. Is. Great. Good job. Yeah, if you do message me on Facebook, it can take me four weeks to get back at the moment. I'm not, I don't log in very much. I used to be regular. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I will, um, I'd enjoy to stay in touch with you, James. Hopefully you'll come along on group coaching uh, maybe next week or whatever. Yeah, be, yeah, yeah. He will. <laughs> next week, I think it'll be the career business week in our sort of allocations through the month. So uh, you'll be able to really jump into that third album planning, visioning. Yeah, I'm writing it now. And also <laughs> the step away from all that driving because I, I hear you, you know, I've been, I was doing every job under the sun to pay the bills while I was a musician. It all just got too hard for me around 2005. And I haven't been doing much before, probably about one decent gig a year, like a friend's wedding or something, about one a year, two a year. Yeah. Uh, and uh, my, my best mate that was a big uh, sound guy in the music industry in Melbourne, he did all bands and stuff for years. They, he actually did international tours. They used to truck stuff from Brisbane to Sydney to Melbourne at roadies and he, he he died last year of cancer and uh, during the COVID and that. And um, I used to do gigs for him. He he said he loved my music. He said, after all these people I've worked with all my life, it's great bringing you along to a party. You're so flexible and you got the right songs. And and we became really good friends through it. And, um, and that was my last public music thing, really. So I've got to generate some more desires to do gigs and that they'll come up. But, um, yeah, yeah. I'm picking it up a bit more these days. I'm going through one of those, you know, when you, I don't know if you ever put it down in your life for as much as eight or 12 months or something, and then you get back into it. You think I needed that break and I'm really happy to be back into it. I'm sort of going through a bit of that with the old guitar and the keyboard. Yeah. I took breaks from performing before. I actually had a breakdown from performing, so I had to take a break for a while. <laughs> it, it's uh, it's just an amazingly challenging life and the, and the fun's so fun and, the, and it's like i mean i always say to people boy george was an extreme but the fun's so fun and the lows are so low and there's no one around and you haven't got that five thousand people cheering or whatever anymore uh, it, it takes a lot of emotional management and to come up with the goodies when you have to and even the creativity when you have to it's like forcing nature in a way to to be on time and, you know on that gig and put it all there at the right time mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah Great. Awesome to have you on the show. I, 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 on the on the call, I think it's great expanding our uh, our uh, different occupations and interests. And and fun is a constant thing, really. When you are a musician, you become a a, a, a supporter of other people, having that fun every time you, you you're, you're doing that for them. Yeah, it, it is that ultimate mix of um, charity and or giving and fun. Yeah, I like to give it out, and then I like it to get it back even more. <laughs> It's, it's I, I'd love to see you pay your bills with it and, and just yeah. give it full strength. So all the best with that. Thank you. <laughs> good job. Great. Shannon. Yeah, I just wanted to share good news. I know that we skipped the slide on what our biggest accomplishment was this last week. Um, so I we have a test we take every year for Medicare called the AHIP which it's a 90% pass rate on it. And um, you can't sell Medicare unless you pass that test. And I'm happy to say I got a 98%. Yes. I was going for 100, but- uh, I was, was gonna say, scared. what about the two? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. really good, 98. And so, and I buckled down this year. I, I take notes every year, what I've learned from last year, what I could apply this year. And so I, I just cracked down Saturday and I said, look, I don't have any appointments. I'm just going to study, take care of the dogs, get them outside, do their thing, cook dinner. And I'm going to buckle down and study as much as my brain will want to handle for today. So I got through four out of the five manuals on Saturday. And then I said, okay, I'll do fifth and final exam on yesterday. And so I took a breather. I watched a little bit of a movie. I took a hot shower and I said, okay, let me free my brain. So I'm not inundated with all these questions and information and went into the, the test with so much confidence of saying, you know what, I'm really good at what I do. And I know the answers to these questions and I know how to help people. And last year I was procrastinating and I, was taking the test like right before October. Then when I ordered my books, they were late and I wasn't ready for the season. So this year I'm like, okay, it was released on Monday. I should have done it Monday, but I got it done by weekend. 
and now my carriers like United Healthcare is releasing their training today. I'm going to knock it out Humana tomorrow. So I'm staying right in line with what the top performers are doing. So I'm really excited. I feel like I, I'm finally kind of letting loose a little bit and getting on that right track that I've been trying so hard to get on. Congratulations. And you're not trying, you're doing it. Okay. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. That's right. There's a million wins in the one situation there. There are so many wins wrapped up. It's like a, all these little growth areas that you've all brought together. You're so organized, confident, you know, and did what you do, changed it from last time. And it's hard for anybody to change it from last time, anything. And it wasn't that great last time. And this time you're just awesome. Yeah, it's, you know, I try to apply. What do you learn in life? And then correct it, apply it, correct it, apply it, correct it, learn from and apply it. And that's how I try to move forward in life. So when I took, like, after I take the test, I take notes in my iPad. And then I look at those notes before the test this year. And I say, okay, what did, what did I tell myself to do this year? So I can be the best at what I can do this year. And it worked like almost to a science. I mean, I had two answers that I thought were correct, but I was questioning. I always go through the 50 questions. And then once that I'm questioning, I put down a piece of paper and I go back to them and two of them because of my notes and my, the way I did everything, I was able to find the correct answer. So I was really hoping for a hundred cause I worked, you know, an extra 30 minutes trying to make sure I had everything right. But I'm like, how did I miss it by two points? But whatever, I'm giving myself a break. So, and then I, I told you guys about that Elevate app that I use. Um, it has like five training modules every day and, um, I think I shared with the group a while ago, I had like a hundred day streak of doing this app every day. And um, I was so focused on this AHIP on Saturday that I was just like, uh, with everything and I forgot. So I emailed the company and I said, oh, I need your help. And I said, I missed today. And you can see that I've done this for over almost four months straight. And I need help if, if I can somehow back up yesterday and apply it. And they were so awesome. They said, go into your phone settings, set your day back a day, go back into the training. The training is going to recognize the day in your phone, wow. which was awesome. They were, I was like, you guys rock. <laughs> so I'm back on my streak. <laughs> Great. It's just, I'm learning to reach out to people. There's people that are ready to help. You just have to ask for help. That's right. Remember that. Yes. Good job. And thank you so much for sharing it. You're welcome. Very good. So uh, make it a great week, everybody. Great work. Uh, keep that up and looking forward to starting an even more phenomenal week, month, quarter, and year with all of you. That's right. All right. Good <laughs> job. Happy Independence Day, guys. Happy Independence, Happy Independence Day. Day from all of us. We'll enjoy it from Australia. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.